Hey, thanks for uh, being here. So I think this is kind of a first for Rick and I. Rick Siddiqui is a real estate agent professional out in Colorado. I'm over in Utah, but Rick is a Air Force veteran and happens to be today. Today is Veterans Day, so thank you for your service. And uh, Rick and I were talking the other day about VA loans, and Rick has a lot of experience with veterans and with uh, the VA with this loan type. And there's a lot of questions that come up, uh, especially the past two years when, you know, you had the most insane seller's market ever in the history of the United States. And VA buyers were just totally, I wouldn't say totally ignored, but they were ignored in a way that was unprecedented because these are good loan types, right? Totally. Yeah. Well, before I start asking questions, before I get too ahead of myself, maybe you want to say a few words about yourself and then we can you know start learning about VA loans. Yes, absolutely. My name is Rick Siddiqui. I was an Air I'm an Air Force veteran. I served as an auto track radar systems operator which uh, involved uh, the the operating <clears throat> which involved using the uh, systems involved in low level and high level uh, simulated bomb running scores uh, bomb running missions in uh, La Junta, Colorado. And uh, that was back in 1987 and uh, we were living off the economy. It was beautiful. It was one of my best assignments ever because it was my only assignment ever. <laughs> and uh, now um, I've been in Colorado for the last nine years. I've been a realtor for the last eight. And um, I just personally feel that the, that the uh, veteran community is grossly underserved because like even in, as what you said, Stephen, in, in, in the crazy market that we just came out of, there was a lot of VA loans that were just being ignored and Basically, the uneducated realtor and or the uneducated lender is usually saying, well, they don't have skin in the game. Well, our skin in the game, fact of the matter is, is that we basically pledge to serve our country at all costs. And, uh, you know, that's one of the benefits of the VA loan because we did that. And the VA loan never expires. A lot of people think that it has like a term limit of sorts, just like the GI Bill and um, <clears throat> the GI Bill for educational benefits. But uh, the VA loan uh, never expires. And as long as you have entitlement on it, you're good. And um, they do have certain requirements that make uh, home buying easier in the sense that um, I once had a client who, um, who basically he had a credit score of 560 and he was able to get a house. And this was back in that crazy market. So it's not an impossible loan. It's there to help the veterans and everybody. Well, it, it sounds like there's a lot of misunderstandings about the VA loan. I mean, what would you say is the number one myth that um, sellers and even other real estate agents have about the VA loan? That's, again, a, a myth that you can just totally bust open. It's the biggest one you hear. Yeah, yeah the biggest myth out there, uh, Stephen, is the fact that people seriously think and feel that uh, your home has to go through some rigorous inspection uh, and or an appraisal. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that the VA is guaranteeing a loan for a sound uh, property. Now, of course, they encourage you to do any regular inspection, which is normal. And then, of course, uh, when the appraiser comes out, they'll double check anything. And the key watchword is, is that, is it habitable? Is there any chipped paint? So if you know that your home has chipped paint, that's definitely something that your realtor is going to address to have that taken care of before it becomes an issue. So is it really... Yeah that much more strenuous than say a conventional loan appraisal not really not really i mean the fact of the matter is is that uh you know there's more there is skin in the game and uh, it's i find it just crazy and insane when somebody says that they'll take a conventional loan or an fha loan over a va loan mm -hmm. you know and that just tells me that they are just not va savvy i mean when you have a team of a realtor who's great at uh, what the VA loan process looks like, as well as a lender that understands it as well, you've got yourself a team that's set up that's set up for success rather than failure. Well, it's funny. I've heard a lot of different myths, and you know, I think that I, I kind of going to ask them as some smaller questions, just so people can have those answers. And um, you know, just full disclosure, we'll probably repurpose this. This will be a long video, but also some short videos to help people. Um, you know, one of the things that I have seen sellers be afraid of, I mean, you're talking about skin of the game, is the fact that the VA, you can get 0% down with a VA loan, just like USDA, um, not really common with FHA or conventional. Um, 
you know, but VA allows that. And there are people who are nervous about that because they're thinking, oh, well, if they don't put money down, how can they close on my house? It, well, it's a I mean, weird complaint, but it is one I've heard from sellers. Yeah. Well, the VA is basically banking on the fact that uh, the property is going to appreciate. And mm -hmm. even if it's in a market where it's like the appreciation is not as not as robust as what it was, that doesn't mean that the VA loan process is out of the game. I mean, as I said, the, the Department of Veteran Affairs, their goal is is for home, for veterans to become homeowners. So if anybody's out there that's renting right now, <laughs> regardless of where they're at, you know, I mean, everybody pay, pays a mortgage, either their own or somebody else's, but uh, they really need to look into it. And there's a lot of places out there that uh, the veterans basically feel that they have their best interest at heart, but they don't. And I call those call center lenders, the ones that have a name of veteran within them or one of the military branches in it. They're not affiliated at all whatsoever with, with the VA whatsoever. And no, and no lender is. The lenders are just facilitating what they need and they know that they're, they know the VA loan process. Yeah. Well, th that kind of gets into another question I have. Um, I've, again, heard from people that said the underwriting is difficult. So that's why they don't want to work with buyers that are VA. Is, and, and I will say this, it's kind of FHA. You end up with lenders that don't know the process. So what would be oh. your advice? Like, I mean, is the underwriting that much more difficult to where you really need no. a specialist? Or, I mean, wh what are your thoughts on the lender side of things? What should people be looking for in a lender if they're going to do a VA loan? Well, one of the top questions that they should ask their lender is how many VA loans have they closed in the last 60 days mm -hmm. or the last 30 days? Or if they say VA and they're like, hmm, what do you mean? Then that's the time to run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, you know, I do that senior stuff. It's like reverse yeah. mortgages. Um, yes. There is one guy in Utah that's been doing it for 10 years. Everyone else has only been doing it you know, one, two, three years, and they have a handful. Otherwise, it's like people out of state who have written them. Um, so this is the guy I send everyone to because he has so much experience and he's local. I would suggest for this type of loan type, you find someone like that, a true professional. Right, right. Well, that's Just what like I specialize. Yeah, yeah I, I specialize with veterans. I mean, that's been the bulk of my business. I mean, my first transaction of that was when we sold my wife's condo, which was irrelevant, but when we bought our house. You know, and over there, we got our earnest money back. And that's because I had a lender that knew what he was doing. If it was anybody else, you know, <laughs> I, could, I, could, I could bet quite, I, I could bet everything in the world that uh, we wouldn't have got the earnest money back. But uh, that's why you need somebody who's VA savvy. Well, speaking of VA savvy, so what we're saying that for the lender, so they understand the underwriting, they, they've done it more than once, so they, they know any sort of pitfalls, they know the requirements of the appraisal, but then that ties into the other person. The listing agent doesn't necessarily need to be versed in VA, but I would think it's necessary for the selling agent or buyer agent that they need to be a VA specialist to help Absolutely. those veterans Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree with you more, uh, Stephen. That's exactly true. And that's why as, a, as, as an agent that's specializing with buyers that, mm -hmm. that are basically the, using their VA loan, you know, why wouldn't they, why would they use anybody else? Or why would they go with a listing agent who has no concept of the VA loan is going to say, hey, I'm going to get you a better deal. Well, that really means he's going to fatten his pockets. Well, what, um, what are some of, if they're not an expert in VA, like it's not their specialty, what kind of mistakes could say just a generalist make? Like if you just hired your cousin who just got their real estate license or just some random person who doesn't do VA, what kind of mistakes could they make? I mean, could they totally ruin uh, the purchase of the house for that veteran? Could they mess up an appraisal? I mean, what what kind of mistakes do you see people without experience making? Well, first of all, it all falls into when you're when you're previewing the property or when you're viewing the property with your buyer. If you're looking at a property and they totally fall in love with it and you're just kind of like going through the motion of saying this is a living room, this is a kitchen, this is a dining room or whatnot, and you're not paying attention to the outside, if you're not thinking in terms of as an appraiser would, like what are some of the things that an appraiser might knock down, you know, mm -hmm. and I've even seen some properties out there in my search with my clients that they just don't list that the VA loan is one of the loan options. And when I call them, they yeah, go, the oh, well, that's because I don't deal with VA. Uh -huh. I go, why is that? And they go, I don't know how it works. It's like, well, that's, if they got you an offer that met your price in terms and I'd be able to walk you through the process, would that be a consideration? Oh, nobody has ever asked me that. So that's why. 
And and also there's there's other things too, like certain documents that if they don't go to the lender, again, you don't want to delay everything because underwriting is an interesting process for any loan. And basically, I, I, I'm sure in this industry, I don't know how it is out there, but everybody basically says that the job of the underwriter is to not give the loan. <laughs> oh it's like guilty until proven innocent. It's, it's kind of like that, that same uh, variable. Yeah. You know, it's funny um, because Colorado has such a r- robust real estate market and really a lot of things we do out here at Hoppy, a lot of yeah. lenders in Utah do their underwriting in Colorado. Nice. <laughs> Colorado. It's really it's funny. Cool. Um, well, it's funny you talk about the listing agent um, not basically being savvy, so they don't list that there's a VA option, and they don't know how to do it. So you could potentially have an interest in a house if you're a buyer, but you're only yeah. option VA, or it's your best option because you're a veteran, and hiring someone like you, Rick, basically is going to help them get that loan in that house. And with the changing market, I think sellers need to have that option too, because the days of the California cash buyer are over. Right, and right. Are selling in two hours. I, we actually need the, the VA loan to sell houses. Agreed. And so I, I would say if you have a listing agent who's doing that just because they're a four letter word called lazy, and I think that's okay to say, then, then I would say those sellers should fire that person. And hire yeah, people. yeah, I, I completely agree. The homeowner should fire that person. Yeah, I mean, the the fiduciary, as you know, of the seller is to get the home sold. Right. You know, and if they're basically crossing out their options solely because they don't know it, or, and or they don't want to know, it, mm-hmm. what kind of a fiduciary is that to their client? Right. Okay. Right. And well, so here here's a question: Are there types of houses or communities that you cannot um, use the VA loan for? Yes, there are some condos, and um, condominiums. We yes, we went through that with uh, one of my clients. We, meaning my lender and everybody involved in it. Um, I simply asked the guy. I said, uh, "How did you find out that this complex is VA approved?" And he said, "I just copied it from another listing." Um, <laughs> and then we come to find out that the property was not VA approved. And to get it approved, that would have taken some time. But this was the first property that my client saw, and she totally saw herself moving in there. And like, where is she going to put the TV, the sofa, and everything? And that's always a danger sign. But um, you know, about I think about 30 properties later, and a number of offers later, we finally found the place that she's still living in, it, and she's been there for the last five years. So is it is it the HOA that just says we won't let VA in, or is it the fact that it's a a condominium. What is it that prevents VA running alone? That's a very good question. question Because I don't quite understand that. Yeah, I mean, I've seen properties that look great and they're not on that list. And I've seen properties that are shoddy and they're on that list, you know, as approved. And so I I don't know what the rhyme and I personally don't know what the rhyme and reason is uh, in that criteria. Yeah, it just um, happens. Yeah, well, I can understand that. I mean, especially when you start dealing with communities that are owned by corporations or an HOA. Yeah. It's like every time, and I would, I think this is relevant to VA. You always want to look at the CCNRs, you know, those creeds and restrictions. You got to read through it. You know, yes. I've, I've proven listing agents wrong by going through them. It's like, nope, that's not what it says. So yes, mm-hmm. we can put an offer in on this condo. That happened yeah. to me last year. Um, well, so some, some areas are restricted, but when we talk about restrictions, obviously these loans are just for veterans, but are there other people the VA loan can 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 basically fund? Like what about spouses that are just you know married to the vet but didn't serve themselves? Like they can be on the loan or they can do a loan separately? Yes, yes. In fact, with my wife, in my, in my first transaction, um, we basically got the loan based on the fact that I have the entitlement and she had the income. Mm-hmm. And that was no problem. And again, that's a lot of people that say, well, I don't have a job or whatever the case might be. Again, if they go to the right agent, to the right lender that understands the process backwards and forwards and sideways and everything, there's a very good chance that they could basically be, start making their own ma- mortgage payment instead of their landlords. Well, th- there's a follow-up question I have to that. And it's and it's not to be morbid, but it, it is a real thing in the military. Sometimes people, you know, lose their lives in line of duty. That's why we have days like yes. Veterans Days. Remember that, Memorial Day. Um, 
is the spouse still eligible? For oh, a surviving spouse? Yes. The surviving spouse. Are they still eligible? Yes. 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 See, yes. That, that's a really important detail. And I think a lot of people wouldn't think that. Mm-hmm. You know, agents and even, you know, a surviving spouse wouldn't know that options there for them because, you know, I, I I don't know if you know this about me, Rick, but I tried to be in the Marine Corps years ago. You know, well, and I, I always thought all this time you were in the Marine Corps. No, and I never was. Uh, MEPS threw me out because I uh, busted my shoulder when I was 19. You know, yeah, I, I have things I could say about MEPS, but that's for another time. I guess we got to be professional. <laughs> Uh, but you know, I was going to be an officer and all that, but it's, um, one of the things, why am I bringing this up? Oh, but just one of the things at that time, you know, my recruiter, I mean, he had done just realistically, you know, three tours in Afghanistan. So we, we heard all those stories, you know, we heard all those kinds of stories and I knew people I was in high school with, you know, I, uh, always kind of regretted I didn't get to serve because I, I've known so many people since uh, 9-11, but it's a question I've had because if it isn't obvious, this is why I'm interviewing you, is I, I don't really have any VA experience. It hasn't come up for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never even gotten a VA offer on a home I've sold. Wow. You know, that's, well, that's because of the past. Special, <laughs> Stephen, you're, uh, let me clarify one thing. You're, uh, what's your specialty? Is it mobile homes? Yes, manufacturer mobile homes are my specialty, but I still sell real houses. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because <laughs> yeah, the VA loan doesn't cover mobile homes. No, no, uh, not even conventional or FHA or USDA cover yeah, manufactured right. homes right. without land. Um, a conventional, and sometimes FHA will if it's a fixed. Excuse me, a fixated land, but from what I understand, even if it's a fixated land, VA won't. But I could be wrong about that. Um, there's not many options for mobile homes that have the land with it here along uh, here in the Salt Lake Valley. So I don't right. have any experience with it. I suppose I could ask someone that if it ever came up. Uh, so some other questions. Um, oh, this is a good one. I have a list here. Why should a seller, let's, let's come up with a scenario. Let's say a seller has a conventional loan offer or an FHA loan offer versus VA. But it's the same price, same type of earnest money. Like they're basically the same. The only difference is the loan type. So many people will say conventional because of the appraisal, right? Why mm-hmm. should a seller consider VA over another loan type or even cash? What what why should a seller consider that? Well, in one word, <laughs> our freedom. Who protected our freedom? Yeah. You know, it's it's funny. We live. Um, I don't know if you know. There's an air force base, air force base near me. Yeah. Um, Hill Air Force Base. It's supposed to be like the first line of defense if there's ever something on the West Coast. And I know other realtors there. It's in Layton, Utah. They specialize in VA and do a lot of that. I'm, they're not super friends of mine, but you'd be surprised at the number of sellers that are like, "Oh, we want to sell to a veteran." We yes. want to help a veteran and their family. That is something people say. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's well, the number with, reason. Well, well, with ours, when we bought our first house, the interesting thing there was uh, this was the childhood home of the wife of the, of, well, the, the wife, her dad was an army veteran. Mm-hmm. And she, when they got their offers, she looked at our offer and said, oh, he's a veteran. Okay, no problem. Let's go. Yeah. I, I think it's it's one of the things that, you know, sub, your standard civilian, including myself, can do to pay to, you know, serve veterans is to consider the VA loan to get them into a house. I oh, totally agree. Yes. You know, it's yes. it's one of the best things you can do um, with that. I mean, I don't think it's that hard, you know, from what I know about VA and even talking to you, it's it sounds like a standard transaction as long as it you is. have a lender and a buyer agent that just have some experience it should be really easy for everyone absolutely totally agree totally Um, agree. this is kind of a similar question i've asked before but what are some things that veterans should do to prepare getting a va loan so they don't have issues later on when purchasing the house well first and foremost (laughs) uh if you served active duty, uh, definitely locate your uh, DD-214. And of course, there's a different form if you are in the National Guard. In fact, I have somebody who is in the National Guard and they were able to buy a home. 
Mm-hmm. And again, it's it's the expertise of the lender. He was able to tell them exactly what they wanted and everything. And so that was not a problem. I know a lot of people, they say, well, I I, I know I, I have it, blah, 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 or whatever. And they, they just can't find it. So mm-hmm. that's one thing. Know your credit score. And here's also something that I just learned very recently. And that is on a VA loan, you can use the seller concessions to pay down or pay off any of your debt oh, up to 4%. Yes, and that's the only loan that allows it. Conventional and FHA do not. And that's been around for a long time and very few people know of that. I didn't know that. Okay, uh, we yeah. might talk outside our interview. I have, um, well, maybe this is a case study. I have some clients. The husband has like a handyman job, but he serves an Air Force National Guard out here. Hmm. And uh, we've talked about VA, but he's in a mobile home loan, so we have to sell it. And it's he, they're a little upside down with it. Are you mm-hmm. saying it's possible to have some of that paid down? Any debt they have? Yeah, to, to make his ratios better. To uh-huh. make his ratios better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. I have a couple of lenders that I could reach out to you offline. Yeah. And uh, they specialize in pretty much all states across across the United States, and their specialty is VA. Yeah, because I mean, I'd, I'd love to help them out. They kind of got put into a bad situation um, right. by the community they moved into. It's long story is they actually worked with a real estate agent who didn't understand anything about manufactured homes. Oh, they got them into a bad loan and a bad situation, oh, and they've got to get out. And we're trying, but it's just the market has changed. Uh, but he is, you know, active Air Force National Guard. So that's really interesting to know. We'll have to yeah. ask you offline. See, because everything else he can't do. He they can't do VA or sorry, they can't do FHA. They can't do conventional. Yeah. They don't have the cash. Interesting, interesting. Well, look at this. I learned something, Rick. <laughs> you well, know, in in this business, yeah. just like with any other business, we all learn from people. We yeah. totally learn from people. So thank you. I, I I'm very honored that you reached out to me for this, especially on Veterans Day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and well, and and I think that's um just another point like another uh piece of proof that you have to have someone who has experience and expertise Definitely. see all that stuff you said i bet you there are people who say oh yeah i do the ai i know it but didn't know that what you just yes. said and that that can make it it's funny like I, we didn't plan this people are going to think like we planned it like oh ha, ha, they're putting on an act no like this actually can make a real difference for these people i'm helping yeah yeah very interesting well, my my theory is this and that uh my philosophy is is that if I can help people, whether they're my clients, age, other agents, or just anybody, even if it's my competition, why not? I'm not going to withhold information from them. If they know how to do it, great. If they don't, then hey, <laughs> there's me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, pro- probably should get to wrapping up here. Um, I don't know if I really have any other questions. They're all pr- pretty much have been uh, covered but I'm curious, what else should people know about the VA loan? Like, are there any other nuggets of wisdom or advice that people need to know? Well, just have, again, it's the main thing, of course, is have, have yourself a VA savvy team and also check with them, you know, find out how, how well versed are they with the current things and everything. I mean, how are they with their education? There is, uh, for, for realtors, there is the MRP certification, the Military Relocation Professional. And that's something nice to have. And, um, you know, um, I, I don't know if, if there's any other certifications like for lenders, for example. So because mm-hmm. I'm not a lender. So, you know, just, um, you know, education is everything. Well, you talk about relocation. I hadn't even thought about that. I, I guess it's connected to VA, obviously, because we're talking about. Well, VA, but... well I know that that uh, that. Um, that designation is kind of a little misleading, but uh, mm-hmm. they do talk various things about the VA loan and everything and all that and pluses mm-hmm. and minuses and things like that, but more pluses than anything. But I wish that they changed that name because people think, oh, relocation, what's that all about? But then again, in the military, when we have a PCS, a permanent change of station, that just means, hey, you got orders and <laughs> you're out of here in about like 30 to 60 days. And <laughs> that's like a move in, in and of itself, of course. Right. And steroids. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, any any other thoughts? I I those are the questions I had. And honestly, it's like ninety nine percent of the things I hear when it's come up. No 
Well, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up and I'm glad to uh, address them as well. And if anybody is uh, in the Denver uh, area, any of the six county Denver, uh, any of the six counties in Denver, they can reach out to me at 720-460-0830 and let me be their real estate hero. Yeah, I, I was about to say before we ended, I was going to be like, give us your info so they can reach out to you. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll put this up on my YouTube channel and, you know, Rick's going to also have this video so he can put it on his various channels and such. So we'll have our information on it. And, you know, here will be the Rocky Mountain duo. <laughs> <laughs> no. Rocky Mountain duo. I like that. <laughs> yeah. um, Got to get that trademark. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it. You know, for anyone who sat through all of this, I'm sure there's plenty of people. Thanks for watching. And, um, you know, if you need anything, reach out to Rick or myself. Okay. The, Contact information is in the description box below, okay? Awesome. Thanks, Rick. Thank you.